And here they come. Markets are flying back. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update. It is Monday, June the 29th, and after an ugly opening last night, as we said we probably would see, here we are. Markets are flying. Dow's up, I don't know, 300, 400. Who the hell knows what it's up? Uh, S&P from much lower is now about 20 points. Even the NASDAQ got positive on the day. And of course, the Russell is exploding up about the 40 points. Uh, you know, again, not a surprise at all. As we warned yesterday, it's quarter end, month end, rebalancing of the Russell could do anything could happen. Now, we could, we could totally turn around and collapse today, or we could just keep going. I don't know. I'm just watching just like you are. At the end of the day, we're still short the Russell, still short the Dow, still short S&P, and still long the NASDAQ. Okay? It's that simple. We'll see what happens. I mean, again, I, it's it was a fairly easy call that the markets would have some sort of a rally after last night. Just a question of how strong it's going to be. And right now, it's pretty powerful. We'll see what happens as the day wears on. In the meantime, the metals, gold, is is very is, is, is up a little bit. It's been up and down. You know, it opened up about eight bucks higher and then came down in the day. Now it's back up about five or six. Again, we like gold. We're looking for 1800 first and then farther and potentially run the new highs. Uh, silver's a tad lower, uh, but expect, you know, again, that holding and it only failed from the top end of resistance once again. So not a surprise that it pulled back. Platinum's a little bit higher. We are short. But in the meantime, again, platinum should get a dead cat bounce. Again, there's certain reasons markets bounce at certain times. And, and and nothing should be ever nothing should ever catch you like by totally off guard or by surprise. Uh, crude making another run at that forty level. We'll see what happens. Again, I don't think it's going much through forty if it gets to forty. I would look to be a seller. Of course, we're still long. But again, at the end of the day, I don't see it going dramatically higher. I would look for hopefully the, the good news of the rally. It's pulling up our reversal much higher, which is great. That's what I'm looking for. Net gas is a little bit higher. We're still short. Uh, copper is higher, and we're still long. Uh, the dollar is a little bit lower, but pretty much neutralish. And and again, we'll see. We're so we're long dollars. All right. Uh, but again, who? We'll see what goes on here. Again, this is not on giant volume. It's 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 again more or less. To me, it's window dressing, it's marking. We'll see what happens into the next quarter. So I don't put a lot of stock either way. Again, whether up or down, I'm not making any prediction here whatsoever. To me, it looks like there's a major trend change and we're going to start to head lower. Uh, to me, this is an opportunity as long as it doesn't trigger us to reverse first and be the first to go down. And we'll see where it goes from there. In the meantime, meets slightly lower across the board. And really not much movement either direction. Okay, just right hovering around that unchanged level. We're still long cart cattle, short hogs, and grains. You know, look, I keep looking for a reason to want to be long. Now we're short corn. It's up about six and a half cents today. Uh, but again, when I look at it, you know, again, is this just a dead cat bounce or is it going to finally break out? I mean, that move on Friday was really ugly and showed, although June, July beans, which are now gone, I mean, excuse me, July corn, which is now gone, uh, held, uh, December be corn had broken down. So we'll see. Again, this is probably just a dead cat bounce off of an oversold rally. I hope I'm wrong. I mean, although I'm short, but again, I hope I'm wrong. I'd like to be long corn, but I'm not going to fight that either way. Beans are a little bit lower, and my guess is, is that they stay lower on the day. We'll be reversing them out to be short beans as well. And wheat is also getting a dead cat bounce, and we're still short wheat. And again, I don't see nothing exciting about the moves in grains right now. We do know that low prices cure low prices, but we also know that you do get in any market uh, dead cat bounces and you get, you know, after a dramatic sell-off, you do you typically get a bounce. So we'll see where we go from there. Again, it's not it's not critical. We're not going to change during the day no matter what. So we'll continue to watch the market and see what goes on. In the meantime, uh, don't forget about our, our great commodity report written by Andy Heck. Uh, number one author at Seeking Alpha, also traveled worldwide trading physical commodities, plus at one time the biggest silver in the trade. Go to BubbaTrading.com and check out Technomental. And of course, Family Farms, brand new relationship. I can't wait to tell you more about that. But uh, again, we're now doing some stuff with Family Farms, which is going to be great. Uh, looking forward to that. And of course, our brokerage partners, 
there, there are nobody as good as our partners as far as I'm concerned. Now, I have brokerage accounts at many different places, but the ones I use the most for futures and commodities, I use CTG. Uh, that's where they do all of our letter of direction trading. They have some great new products and they, they have great customer service. And of course, see, uh, Tradier, uh, you know, great customer service, 10 bucks a month flat. How can you beat that? No 65 cents, no nothing. You're putting money in your own pocket. So again, that's up to you. You want the information? Please send me an email at bob at bobatrading.com. I'll be happy to send it to you. And of course, our high school program, we're trying to rebuild everything for the new year at Patreon, P A T R E O N dot com forward slash Bubba Trading. That's Patreon dot com forward slash Bubba Trading. In the meantime, have a great day. Let's see what happens. Maybe this is going to be a good selling opportunity. Who knows? Be patient, be disciplined, pick your spots, and you'll be ready to rock and roll. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow with another Bubba's Day update. Have a great day.